What's up YouTube? Over the next couple days, it's Friday evening here, so I'm probably not gonna be able to get done and probably work on it on Saturday, but we are going to start working on this. It is time to break out the wiring specialties wire harness. I got the old one out. I want to, because I loosened up these bolts uh, for some of these, I want to get those torqued back down, but you know, before I forget, even though I have it on video, so I want to make sure that I get all those bolted down. But I want to go ahead and shove what I need to through the engine bay on here, and that way it's already in here. I could button this up. Some of you don't know, I got the wiring specialties LS1 GTO original tra uh, five speed transmission. I got it with the extra grounding uh, harness. I got it with the Dakota Digital so I can get the Speedo and all that stuff working. And as well, I got it with the AC wiring because I will eventually, after I get it running and after it's winter, don't really need to rush, I'll get the AC uh, hooked up with this as well. Um, again, everything heat wrapped, you know, shrink, shrink wrap, heat wrapped, you know, everything's connected. Uh, got all the factory connectors and I am quite impressed uh, with the build quality of this wiring specialties. And as I should be, because it was, you know, like I said, this is close to a thousand dollars, like 930 something dollars with the options I got. So yeah, it adds up. It better be uh, really easy to put in. Let's go ahead and get the initial ECU and the dash harness and stuff put through the, the engine, uh, the firewall, and that way it can lay it out. <laughs> the harness all spread out. Uh, we'll start on this end that has the connections that go through the dash. Uh, we have our ECU connectors, obviously. Uh, we have our in cabin fuses. Uh, you'll take this off, send this through the hole, because that won't fit. Um, you also have your dash harness that plugs into the dash or in, you know, it's the in-car and that goes out and you have your wiper, Zinke wiper and Koki wiper controls as well as the two over here. These two here uh, go into the fuse box on S14. There are two plugs you plug in down below the fuse box, those plug in there. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, we have our OBD2 connector. And we have this thing here, which is nice and uh, already, you know, put a connector on it. And it is speed calibration. And that goes with this, which is the Dakota Digital speed calibrator and it is already wired and just ready to plug in I mean that right there <laughs> I mean it's a small little thing but you don't have to worry about doing that wiring you don't have to worry about splicing anything like that they're all connected right there that's excellent um, the thing that took me a little while to figure out was this really long wire and on the end of it it was saying pressure sensor. And I was trying to figure that out. I was like, what the, what, and, you know, I thought maybe oil pressure sensor or something like that, but it's way too long and it's, you know, where it's connected is just kind of weird. But I ended up figuring out that that goes to, I got the air condition option. And if you get the air condition option, you need to, I guess, get a, uh, on the high pressure side, you need to put a sensor in and that connects to that. Um, as well, I got these other wires for the uh, for the air conditioner. 
this plugs into the compressor, the ground, and then you plug this into your signal wire. And there you go. Okay, it also came out, it also came with a grommet that will go to the firewall. And then of course, all our other plugs here. And things like uh, coil pack, injectors, um, alternator, uh, or is this the alternator or starter? No, this is the starter. This is the starter wire, uh, starter ground. Yeah, this is the starter wire. You got the the bigger, more polished, I guess is what you call it. But the bigger end, this goes to the power. This goes to the ground. Um, it does give you also the option to run you know, like coolant, uh, this is a coolant sensor for your stock gauges. Um, B240, I, so maybe someone can answer me why, but the 240 didn't come with an oil pressure gauge on the cluster. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure why it came with one with this. I mean, this does not go into the oil pressure sensor, but either way, I am going to be running uh, aftermarket oil pressure, uh, oil pressure and water temp uh, aftermarket on those uh, and things like that. Uh, it also has, you know, fan hookup, two fan hookups, and the ground. So what we're going to do is see what we can get done, and then obviously we have the passenger side over there. It have the alternator, the power for the alternator, uh, right there. And stuff like that we will also need to connect um, as you see over here let's this out of the way we will need to get a uh, a positive uh, battery terminal get this connected and have it go to the battery and as well I'm going to see if I can get this off I'm going to also run, as before, I'm going to run, connect this to what connects to the battery terminal right here on the battery, and then I'll have that battery cord come back here and connect here. And then what I'll do is I'll run a separate line here, and I'll run it probably down along and down to the starter, and then have it over there. And that's how I'm going to run the power. And that should be good with the power. I'm probably going to end up moving this. I'll probably end up moving this ground and get it over here grounded on the front of the cylinder head. And I believe this is the side that also has the the fan ground. So I'll just you know ground them both right here. Uh, I do plan on getting some new hoses, but. We're working on the wiring for now. Um, I haven't, I haven't finished getting the uh, cruise control. I mean, I got, I got all of it except that one piece down there, and that is bolted in to the wheel well. So when I get that jacked up, I'll get that off. But I don't have to worry about that right now because I can just get to the hole from here. All right, well, let's go ahead and lay the wire over. Most places or most people end up wiring, putting the wiring behind here. That way it can go back and it has a more clean look uh, behind the brake lines. So I'm going to do that. We have a whole slew of wires that need to go through. Of course, I don't want to have to buy new connectors or anything like that, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful so none of them break. Well, a little bit of a little bit of time. We got all the wiring through there without any issues. Now. 
think the best idea is to split driver side and passenger side. Still haven't put that in. I'll, I'll worry about that in a little bit. Let's get this split up and see if we can kind of find where the places are supposed to go. Kind of, kind of working on the passenger side a little bit. I got the injectors all plugged in, the coil pack plugged in. Got it. I mean, I'm not super tucking it or anything like that or, or even attempting to really tuck. I'm just wanting everything to go in the right place. Uh, I have this ground coming back around, just kind of loose fit. Um, these will, these two go to the wires, so I'll need to, uh, these wire ones I'll need to get in there to get those connected. Um, there are two wire plugs and I have two fans, so that should work out. Um, I pushed down in here, uh, pushed down the ones for the starter. Uh, this is the oil temp, I'm not gonna use this one. Uh, this is for the map, I'm not connecting this yet. Uh, I pushed down the reverse, the O2 and the starter, uh, both the starters, the positive and the negative, and also the crank angle sensor. I'll get in, I'll get under there probably tomorrow. I'll also put on my O2 sensors and see what kind of, I haven't started the driver's side, but let's, let's see what we can get done on the driver's side. Well, I got an okay amount done on the uh, driver's side. I got the coil pack, got the injector plugs in. I also have a, I did the uh, map sensor back there. I was gonna do the camshaft, but it is actually, when you put the plug in, it'll be a little bit in the way for the uh, oil pressure sender, and I'm going to put in a new one of those, or I'm gonna put the, a new gauge in for that. Uh, put down the other two, uh, as far as all the trans harnesses and stuff like that. This is a rear cylinder head ground. Um, I'll put that on later. Um, let's see, I got those in. And I left everything up here unplugged for now. Okay, to show you what I got, I got some, I got an auto meter, the oil pressure. This is the 5727. This is not a mechanical, this is electrical. I thought about getting a mechanical. Uh, the problem with the mechanical, I mean, it's a, it's a little more accurate, but you have to run, I guess it's what, nylon tube or plastic, or whatever tubing it is, you have to run that from the gauge, it's connected from the gauge to the actual sensor and then that sometimes gets old or cracked or if it gets kinked, it's no good. Um, so there are a lot of issues with that. Plus, I did not want to introduce as an advice from a buddy. He said, you know, you may not want to introduce a oil issue inside the car where if the gauge broke or the hose broke near the gauge, I'm gonna have hot oil spewing all out into the car so I thought, maybe that's not a good idea. So I went ahead and went with electrical. Um, it won't be quite as accurate, but it will be accurate enough, I think. Same thing, I went with the um, electrical water pump, or electrical um, oil, or water pressure, or water temp gauge. Ugh. And this is the 5737. And I went with the, I guess it's the Phantom 2 or whatever, and it has, uh, these are not LED ones, these have bulbs, and you they have uh, little housings around them that you can change the color of the gauge. Uh, let me open that up real quick, show you. Well, as you can see here, the socket is able to get down in there right there, but I got the wrong size. For some reason I got one and one eighth, like 
like an idiot. I need to go back and get a 1 and 1 16th. I'm probably going to pick this up in the morning since getting over there and getting dinner and all that stuff is just going to take some time. So I'll leave it off here and we'll pick it up tomorrow.